Nor the Vicar Pula. Well, I, Jake Opard, am here to explain their existence. For these are very powerful creatures. They will be ordered based on their strength and dangerousness. Let's cut the bullshit into the video. Born two million years ago, Dutharaja, the king of woe, manifested itself from the first suffering mind. It succumbed to the first tragedy, the first agony, and so will bear the eternal weight of anguish and pain. For it, unlike its brothers, is an immortal entity that will outlive mankind. His curse is that of eternal sorrow and fear, and to invoke him is to spread that curse onto yourself. Generally, oh, I don't think he'd interfere with your daily life, as he's much too busy crying and browsing the epimetalist subreddit. Unlike the previous kings, Lalaj Raja, the king of greed, was not created when the first mind was born, but rather, when their descendants succumbed to personal desires of luxury and material control. Lalaj Raja is among the most isolated of the kings, residing in its own valley, sitting in the remains of great artifacts. Its curse is to suffer in poverty and sickness until the days of man are over. After mocking the name of Dutharaja I have been told that I will die in seven days. So I am going to take this more seriously. Born two million years ago, the Karano Raja, the king of thought, manifested itself when the first mind was born, and will cease to exist when the last mind has met the same fate. This being, first among Vicar Kula, is cursed to undergo rumination, alive to think, and never be free from the overpowering thoughts of their own primordial soul. Wow. I understood very little of that. From what I have gleaned from the strange text, is that Mr. Raja came into existence when the first person capable of thinking came into being. And, down to those who think will die when nobody thinks anymore. Nearly as early as the Karano Raja, Sakti Raja arose when the thoughts of power corrupted among the first of mankind. This being sought to control all of Vicar Pillar under his domain, waging war against the kings of the land, finally losing, which has two primary arms destroyed. His curse is to suffer eternal paralysis on top of Mount Sakti, watching over the lands he will never control. Finally, it's time for the most powerful of the Vicar Pilla discovered yet. Please note that I have exactly no clue why he is of the greatest strength. I was just told this by the strange figures that offered me the text in which they are displayed. Kadidaraja, the king of gluttony, was created when the earlier ancestors of mankind sought to eat and devour at the cost of their peers, engaging in excessive feasting. They are among the most powerful and vicious of the kings, having a will to devour all other kings in the hypothetical event of their freedom from their sinkhole. Their curse is to suffer from eternal hunger. This has been so detrimental to the king that he had eaten most of the muscle and flesh off his bones, reducing his body to a frail skeleton. Well, that's the conclusion to this video. Goodbye.